Um, okay. So, uh, next up we've got Jack with his project management system called Jigsaw. Take it away. All right. So, um, so the project idea, one of the problems I realized actually while building this project is that like a lot of people have ideas for like side projects and um, they need people for with a diverse skill set to build that project. And this this is like more common especially on like everyday people where they don't have access to like large teams or like large workforces where they can like have skilled people to build their ideas. And so the second problem I realized was there needs to be like a way to present a portfolio of projects or contributions to projects that you make. Um, almost like a GitHub, but for non-programmers. And so like a lot of this like software exists for the tech industry, but outside of it in like art and like video and animations, it kind of falters away. And so like the reason why it's called Jigsaw in the first place is because it goes to the analogy of kind of like you have one piece of the puzzle and you need like a lot of other people to make that project like become a reality. And so my solution was to build a platform that allows the average person to like upload and publish their projects over like a wide scope of fields like art, tech, um, video, writing, and allow people to get others to sp satisfy like a specific need for their project. So let's just say you're creating a video game and you need artists, you need programmers, and you need like so many different people to make that idea actually become something. And then the third thing is like allow you to kind of see a portfolio of what you've contributed to and like what projects you're kind of a part of. So I'll pull up the demo right now. So this is the landing page and there's a register and login. I'll just skip right to the login. So right now there is currently already a project from Marlin and um, it's an evolution simulator and you can see it has a category and it has a tag with it and each project also has um, like listings on what you can join so if you click request to join the project you can see all the listings that um, they created and this one specifically has an artist role available and you can send like a quick message um, to the owner of the project saying like you're interested or that you want to be a part of it and you might also attach like a portfolio that you already have um, from a, like a different site or something to show that um, you're like qualified or that why you're interested so I'll just say I'm interested and from there, it should, it's submitted. And then you can also see updates on the project. So like the owner can post updates to the project and see what's going on. Um, this one has two updates to it right now. And in addition to it, you can see the uh, people that uh, are part of the project. And right now, only the creator of the project, Marlin, is it. So if we log back out and go to Marlin, so he's the owner of this project and there's also like um you know right now there's only one project i'll show it later but as the owner you now can see the recruited users and in each like tab um jack posted a message saying i'm interested in it and from there they can accept or reject um, the project and i accepted this one so it should now add me to the project with it um, so if you wanted to add like another use, another like posting for it, you could say you want a designer um, and a designer to design the game. You can add it and it should refresh. It adds it to the listing and this is basically just a back and forth system between like users and project owners. So if we wanted to upload another project, projects have a just a title and they have a category. Right now there's just a few, but you can also do other. So let's just do tech and let's make it jigsaw and tag one. And from there you can see um, that there's multiple ones. It's search by tag works too. So if you want to search a certain project by like a tag, you can look and um, they're both tech, actually. That was a bad decision, but you can go and look for categories too. And also, each profile has like a list of what projects you're like a part of and what projects you own. And from there, they also have 
like the link to the project. So let me go back to this slide. So technologies that I used were Flask, Postgres for my database, and I used React with a bunch of different React libraries on top of it. And the main framework I used for my CSS was Bootstrap. So the biggest challenge I ran into was really the asynchronous loading of React. Kind of like a lot of things from the back end and the front end needed to be loaded in like a specific way, otherwise you'd get a lot of errors. And that kind of was like the main obstacle of my project. And so like things that I thought about coming forward is like maybe adding a payment or transaction system to like reward project contributions, um, allow companies and like organizations to upload project tasks for people to complete. And again, that's done a lot in the tech world. Um, like you can look at HackerRank and they have ways to like upload challenges that they reward their users for solving. Um, but I think if you brought it into other fields like art and like crafts and design, it would be useful for both sides of like the transaction. Like the company would get um, like a product solved and the user would have something to build towards their portfolio. And then the third thing I thought about was adding like more initial based project management tools. Right now everything's linked through email, so like you can send emails to people that once you join the project. But I thought about like adding like a really base line kind of project management with like a to-do list or like more software to just handle the overall like project flow. And that's the end of it. questions? Uh, how are your people getting notified when they're like... Uh... Yeah, the email thing was working. I think it was a last minute, like, there's one bug with the server and how it's sending it, but every time you sign up for a project, you will get an email for it, mm -hmm. and then you'll also be given, like, emails to everyone else in that project. Okay. Uh, what Python library did you use for uh, sending email? SMTlib. Okay. So, it was pretty convenient with it. They have, like, a kind of a limit on how much you can send, okay. and it gets more complicated, like, once more people start joining and then you need to send multiple emails to everyone in the project. But 